Hello. So it's been a crazy couple two days. Very exciting, but eye-opening. <laughs> so the other night, my friend Marissa and I <sighs> shared testimonies and the gospel of Jesus Christ with this guy that she met and went to church with and he felt the presence of the Holy Spirit and he had never felt that at a Christian church before and he started manifesting demons so we basically told him that we know what he's going through because we went through it and I shared the gospel with him and he accepted Jesus as Lord and repented for his sins and renounced a bunch of stuff and we started casting demons out of him and he uh he was kind of freaking out but I just I started reading scripture to him and he was getting deliverance just from me reading scripture like people need to learn the power of the word of God it's when you speak it out loud and when you hear it how it transforms you and renews your mind so you can know what God's will is and what God says about you, who you are in Christ, and what is to come. <sighs> who God really is. Who Jesus is. Jesus is God. But, uh, the enemy was not happy. And, uh, last night was pretty difficult for me. Didn't feel so hot today. Had to do a lot of spiritual warfare and, uh, had some really weird nightmares but thankfully I don't have any fear anymore it's just interesting very very interesting the dreams that I have the things that I experience there was even one point where I felt this poke on my left shoulder and she put the bible on his shoulder and I didn't know it and I was like, did you just feel something on your left shoulder? She's like, yeah, I just put the Bible on his shoulder. <laughs> so that is the gift of uh, this discernment of spirits. So I just casted whatever demon, whatever demon that was out of him, commanded it to go. I mean, it's not me, it's the Holy Spirit working. It's God doing the deliverance. Yeshua HaMashiach, God is salvation. Salvation means deliverance. <laughs> Deliverance is the children's bread. Hashtag normalized deliverance. But anyway, so that was a, an amazing moment I will never forget. Like I literally imagined angels just cheering in heaven and people in heaven just cheering and celebrating for his salvation, for him being born again. Oh, excuse me. Ugh. Ah. Just getting deliverance. Surprise! Christians can have demons. People need to wake up. It's in the Bible. Acts 5. Holy Spirit filled Christian. And I I'm trying to remember who said it, but basically he's like, Why has Satan filled your heart? Yeah. You think bitterness and anger and depression are not demons, people? Addictions? Like, they're demons. They need to be cast out. Deliverance is for believers more so than unbelievers because when demons leave, they try to come back worse with seven more demons stronger than themselves. And I definitely learned that the hard way because I didn't have people to teach me. And a lot of churches I went to where I was from at the time didn't think Christians could have demons. Literally pastors. One pastor told me not to talk about demons in his church. And literally the first Bible study I ever had was all about demons in the Bible. And that's one of the main things that Jesus did was cast demons out of people and do healing miracles. Like he said, these things you shall do and greater like, we have the Holy Spirit. We're supposed to be walking in these things. It's supposed to be a normal thing that we do, but 
not everyone that confesses Lord, Jesus says Lord, will get to go to heaven. Especially the lukewarm that have one foot in the world and one foot going to church once a week. Praying a prayer before they go to bed, maybe. Like it talks about how God will say, depart from me, I never knew you, you workers of iniquity. Like he said, repent, go and sin no more. Repent and believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. But anyway, so I got this really cute little coin bank made, especially painted on Etsy, and I love it, but I had a bad feeling when I saw that the person that made it, she also paints statues of Mary. So that is a cursed item. So I don't know if I should have had her make me anything, but I thought it would be okay if I just prayed over it and anointed it. But today, the Holy Spirit has been highlighting it to me and just giving me these imaginations in my head. And I'm just getting this bad feeling about it. So I'm going to destroy it on camera and just share how... Things of this world, material things, they're not important. We should be focused on seeking God and his kingdom and his righteousness and not the things of this world. Because this stuff is going to not matter. This stuff is going to pass away. But things that are eternal, that should be our main focus because that's the most important thing. So yeah, I'm just gonna destroy this thing now. This beautiful little lamb. Farewell. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. <laughs> I want you guys to see this though. I can't, I need to get it lower. I guess I could do this. In the wrong direction. There we go. Oh there. Oh dear guy. Who oh dear. Alright. Here we go. And I had a huge manifestation. Look at that. And there's stuff going everywhere. <laughs> oh no, I'm making a mess. I should have done this outside. Ugh. Oh man. That needed to be done, though. Alright, there we go. <laughs> smells kind of weird. That doesn't seem like a good smell. Every unclean spirit that just left, I command you to go to the abyss. In Jesus Christ's mighty name and never return. <coughs> <coughs> Uh, okay, that was interesting. Oh my gosh. Every unclean spirit attached to this lamb. Any spirit that was attached to this lamb. Go to the feet of Jesus Christ. Go where Jesus Christ tells you to go. <coughs> oh. 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 Sprinkle the blood of Jesus Christ all over this. <coughs> oh. Oh my gosh. Wow. All right. So I just wanted to <laughs> make this video. Um, trying to wake people up to the reality of the demonic and the truth of Jesus Christ and the Bible. <sighs> and the, the, the spiritual realities of this world. And man. It is very eye-opening. And I have no reason to lie. I have no reason to pretend. I was tormented by demons for over two years. And I finally... Finally am walking in the freedom I'm supposed to be in. Technically, I was always free when I believed in the truth of Jesus. I just had to walk out my deliverance. And the Bible says to uh, to walk out 
your walk of salvation with fear and trembling. And for me, fear is just fear of God. I don't, I have no reason to fear anything else but that I am my Heavenly Father. Fear and reverence and respect for who He is, because He is sovereign over everything. Adonai, the true living God, the God of Isaac, Jacob, and Abraham. Yeshua HaMashiach, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Every knee will bow. And every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. The people that haven't come to this truth yet and make fun of people that profess their faith in Jesus and the truth of what the Bible says. Hopefully you'll figure it out before it's too late. Because if you haven't been born again and you haven't accepted the free gift of salvation by having faith in God, having faith in Jesus Christ, the Word of God made flesh, the image of God, fully man and fully God on earth that died for our sins and made a new covenant with man. God made a new covenant with man through his blood to those that believe in him. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his, world, his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world would be saved through him. <sighs> Stuff is like literally breaking off of me when I break this. <laughs> Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, I repent and renounce covetousness and any greed, any love of money. Like all money is your money, Adonai. It's not mine. It's not ours. I don't need material things. Like, I don't even need this thing. It was like $50 wasted. Like that could feed like so many people. And like, don't come in here right now, busy, please. Close the door, 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 please, close the door. banging. Okay. I didn't want her to see this. <laughs> but she's probably going to see the video eventually anyways. <sighs> I should have just showed her. Heavenly Father, I repent and renounce for the way I just reacted to my mom opening the door. I should have locked it. <sighs> Please forgive me. Every unclean spirit trying to attack me. Adonai rebuke you. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and rulers of the darkness of this world. Seated in heavenly places. And I am seated in heavenly places far above all principalities and powers and rulers of the darkness of this world, seated with Christ Jesus at the right hand of God the Father, my spirit man. No evil shall befall me, no plague will come near my dwelling, no weapon formed against me shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. <coughs> <coughs> So I hope this video helped people uh, open their eyes a bit. Heavenly Father, I pray that anyone that watches this video, anyone that listens to this video, that you'll take away all spiritual blinders from Satan, the kingdom of darkness, away from them. Give them the eyes to see and the ears to hear the truth. Draw them to you, Abba Father. Draw them to your word, Holy Spirit. Deliver them from all evil. Lead them to repentance and to renounce all sin and wickedness and evil. Help them to have faith. Set them free from all belief. Set them free from all unbelief and doubt. Increase their faith. 
them to see the truth of this world. This world will not always be like this, thankfully. There's only so much time left. We don't know the day or the hour, but we'll know the season of when Jesus will come back. But unfortunately, the Antichrist will be revealed. And people will, some people will think that he is the Messiah. The mark of the beast will happen and you won't be able to buy or sell without it. The wrath of God will be poured on the earth, on unbelievers, those wickedness, those in wickedness and sin. And the rapture happens and all his true followers will be taken up. A lot of people are gonna die and it's gonna be a horrible, horrible time on earth. And then Jesus will come back and defeat all wickedness and send Satan and his demons, all the fallen angels down to the pit of hell thousand years and then there'll be a new earth and a new heaven and a new Jerusalem on the earth and Jesus Christ will take his throne in the new Jerusalem and I don't want anyone to go to hell and I don't want anyone to be tormented by demons or suffering I want to help set people free and cast demons out of them. I just want to destroy this whole thing. There are some people that are so deceived by Satan and demons and they think they have so much power. And they're just so full of demons and wickedness and evil in their hearts. It's not always the person. They're just usually filled up with demons and being influenced by them and especially people that are involved in witchcraft and Satanism and really dark stuff. Oh. But I just wanna focus on light of the world the true living God Jesus Christ who died for our sins God loves us so much he came and manifested himself into human form being fully man and fully God the perfect image of God the unseen God made into the image of man but we are made in the image of God, so. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we'll find out what he really looks like when we get there, but. <sighs> it's just, it's astonishing to me how I've come across so many people that pro profess to be Christian, but they don't even share the gospel with people. They don't, they don't warn people about the reality of hell and how horrible it is because it's you making the choice out of your free will to deny God. God is everything that is good. Every good feeling you've ever had is from God. So if you continue to deny him and you die, the default destination is hell because just like laws on earth, if you murder someone, you're going to go to prison and get the death sentence in some cases. 
And God says the wages of sin is death. And for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. But God for loved the world so much. God loves us so much that he came to earth and died for us. So we could be saved. So we could be forgiven. Basically, Jesus came to the court and paid our fine. He's like, here, come with me. Follow me. You're forgiven. I've paid the price for your fine, for your sentence. I bailed you out. Just come with me. You don't have to go there. I forgive you. Just follow me and love me. And love everyone else. Because this world is fallen. And there's a curse of sin and death on this world. And the only way to be set free from the curse of sin and death is faith in the truth of Jesus Christ. To be born again in your spirit. To be reconciled with God. And to be washed clean with the blood of Jesus Christ. And to be under the new covenant through his blood. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. And all things were made by him. I just want everyone to know that and believe that. <laughs> I'm tired of the evil in this world. I don't like to see people hurting. I don't even like to hear people cuss anymore. <sighs> I used to cuss all the time. I don't even really watch movies anymore unless they're about God <laughs> or just wholesome stuff. <laughs> just want to do God's will and help people that are hurting <laughs> and lead people to the truth about God. Jesus Christ is God. <laughs> God is the Father. God is the Son. God is the Holy Spirit. Within the past three to four years, there's been so many people learning the truth the hard way about demons and the truth of Jesus Christ. A major spiritual awakening. <sighs> Alright, I should probably end this. I don't like I don't want my videos to go too long. But um feel free to reach out to me anyone watching this if you struggle with anxiety or fear or depression nightmares sleep paralysis addictions and just want to know God want to accept Jesus as Lord and be born again and to really know our creator the creator of all things the creator of the universe our heavenly father He's amazing. He's so amazing. God loves you so much. God loves all of us so much. And he's merciful and he's forgiving. But he has spiritual and moral laws. And when you break those, there's consequences. It's not karma. It's just punishment for <laughs> discipline and punishment for being disobedient and rebellious to your father. That's what it is. And the only way to be forgiven is through Jesus Christ. So trust and believe that Jesus Christ is Lord. Believe it in your heart that God sent his son to earth, his only begotten son, to die for our sins. And that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. So believe that Jesus is Lord. Confess that Jesus is Lord. Say, Jesus is Lord. I believe that you are Lord. Forgive me for my sins. And you can even ask him to reveal to you what you need to repent, change your mind, and turn away from, and renounce, come out of agreement with. 
in the name of Jesus and believe that God raised him from the dead. The Holy Spirit raised him from the dead three days later. Over 500 people saw Jesus after he resurrected. And there is historical, historical evidence, archaeological evidence for what the Bible says. Times, places, dates, people. It's honestly one of the best historical ancient documents that we have. If you look at the time frame compared to some other documents that are 300, 400 years later after the fact. And some people try to discredit it because it was written, what, 30, 40 years after Jesus died. Like, okay. <laughs> Did you really seek God with all your heart, though? Because he promises to reveal and manifest himself to you if you do that. And I was talking to my brother the other night about it. And he's like, what does that even mean? I was like, just talk to God. <laughs> just like, Heavenly Father, like, reveal the truth to me. Talk to me. Like, just pour your heart out to him. Just talk to him like you would anyone else. Like, all he wants is to have a relationship with us. Oh, all right. I'm going to end it here. This was in, uh, yeah. I don't even have the words right now. But thanks for watching and God bless you all. May Adonai bless you and keep you. May Adonai make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May Adonai lift up his countenance upon you and give you shalom, peace, wholeness, tranquility, peace that surpasses all understanding and joy and the tangible love and presence of God. God is love. And there's no greater love than his love because love comes from him. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Shalom.